It's Friday after work, and I'm just packing up the Land Rover so I can go to the Carrizo Plains over the weekend. I still have a bit more packing to do, but once I'm done, I'll be able to leave nice and early tomorrow morning and get out before the sunrise. <laughs> to Cruise of Plains. It's 10.30 right now, which is a bit later than I wanted, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and head further into the park to see if there's anything immediately obvious, and then grab a spot of lunch, and then probably go up into the foothills, so should be good fun. like either a red hop or a red tail hop or something like that line. Just spooked it driving past it, but it's right across. Watch out there. The video and audio isn't too bad because I'm using the A9 for wildlife at this point and it's too slow to swap lenses so we're off the GoPro. So one of my four gallons has a nice big crack puncture right in it so I'll be the first one to drink. Pretty empty and pretty flat out here. It being around midday, it's a bit too hot for most animals. So I'm just getting some B-roll shots, I'm trying to use a unique perspective, of still using the um, 200 to 600. You can start to see why some people call Crazy Plains California and Serengeti. With all the sun it gets and the wind, everything just gets super dried out and desiccated. And this earth is just no moisture in it at all. I mean literally just silt. I'm just down on the south side of the south. 
as you can see, it's pretty much just salt. And it all has this consistency of like talcum powder or maybe powdered sugar. It's really weird to walk on. Time to go ahead and keep on heading south back to the campsites. All right, it's just about seven o'clock and I just pulled into one of the two campsites that I scouted out earlier. It should be pretty good for tonight. We have about an hour and a half, maybe an hour 10 left of sun. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some food cooking as well as the cameras set up. I'm gonna do that. Day two out in Carrizo Plains. Just about finished packing up. I've watched a wonderful sunrise, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and head up north to more Proghorn territory. Try and see if we can't see any before it gets too hot in the middle of the day. So, let's go do it. from the back roads, trying to find frog horns. Um, kept climbing higher and higher, and ended up finding this abandoned 
run down old house. And I'm pretty sure there's like a rule that if you go past an abandoned old house, you have to check it out with the camera. So, that's what I'm about to do. Made it back to the camp that we scouted earlier. It's around 5 p.m. so it's a bit early for me getting into camp. But I figure that I'll set up the camera and take that around these kind of foothills and plains area uh, and see what I can see. It's about nine o'clock in the morning now, probably halfway through the plains. 
And I think I'm gonna now flip back around and slowly start driving back to the south entrance. Just keep my eyes peeled for anything else I see.